YouTube training video. I'm Rob Garlick, and today we'll be discussing air balance and air movement in a system. First, we'll discuss how a blower works. The motor spins a blower wheel inside of a housing. This motor and blower can be direct drive or belt driven. Sometimes the motor is an ECM motor, and sometimes it's VFD controlled in larger equipment. When the blower wheel spins, it creates a negative pressure on the inlet of the blower and a positive pressure on the outlet of the blower. This spinning of the wheel is what creates those pressure changes that allows air to move. Manufacturers will provide you with an external static pressure chart in the book. So you will use a magnetic or a digital manometer, manometer to read these negative and positive pressures. So external static pressure is the resistance in the ductwork that the blower must overcome to move air properly. So in our example with a Tempstar furnace, we're reading negative two inches, 0.2 inches of static pressure at the inlet and a positive 0.4 inches of static pressure at the top of the furnace. And if you look at the chart in the book, it says with switch 2-6 in the off position will provide just over a thousand CFM, which is what we need for our two and a half ton system. So always compare your reading to the manufacturer's book. Next, we'll discuss static and velocity pressures. Static pressure is the pressure exerted outward on the ductwork against the sides of the ductwork. And velocity pressure is the pressure and resistance of air moving through the ductwork or in this direction in this, in this picture. <clears throat> you can use the static and velocity pressure readings with a pedostatic tube you can traverse your ductwork to get your airflow in this run, or you can use a hood to measure the different supplies in each space. It's important that you have proper air balance so that each space is provided the proper CFM to heat or cool that space properly. Your engineering group should always provide you with this duct layout and CFMs on the, on the screen. We will have a follow-up video to discuss your ductilator, which you take your static and velocity pressures for your duct sizing, as well as a print and blueprint reading video. Air balancing should always be performed by a qualified person with calibrated tools. This can include a balance hood for each uh, supplier or turn vent. It can be a magnetic or a digital manometer with a pedostatic tube. And you use these tools to adjust your branch dampers again, to provide the proper CFM. At the end of this video, we'll put a rule of thumb so that if you're looking at a print, you can see, does this design meet what we need? Again, these are rules of thumb. Always consult your engineering group. Thanks for stopping by. See you next time.